Hi, Jerry Wilson here with Coastal Custom Wine Cellars. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to share um, a three-dimensional design package with you, take you on a short tour of that, and also share some pictures of the finished product. We began on this project in October of 2010, initially partnering with the architect and uh, ultimately with the general contractor and the clients as well about the wine collection. This is a wine cellar that's about 90 miles from Boston. It's along the east shore of Cape Cod. It's um, a lot of little boutique wineries in the area. It's quite beautiful, actually. Everyone who comes to Coastal is going to get this three-dimensional design package I'm going to share with you here. The right side area where, where you don't really see anything, this is a tasting area. It's not climate controlled as opposed to this area here where you see the racks along the perimeter. This is indeed a climate controlled area. The total bottle capacity of the wine cellar is 1,769 bottles. And we'll take a look at each of, of the elevations, which in this particular design are labeled B, C, D, E, F, and F. We didn't do a lot of the arches or any openings in this wine room for artwork because indeed just outside the wine room is a beautiful cabinet, which you'll see in a, in a moment here. There's a good mix here of ways to manage the wines. There's X cubes on the top, which is great for bulk storage or large format bottles. These little icons here, these are wooden case openings. Of course, below we've got diamond bin storage. All of the wine racks rest, as you can see here, on a four inch toe kick. This elevates the wine racking system off the ground that many inches. And of course, we provided a beautiful two-step base molding as well. Elevation C is where we place the cooling unit. Once again, you'll see pictures of this. It's actually housed behind a uh, custom grill cover here. It's a louver grill cover made of the same wood as the wine racks. By the way, all the wine racks were made of a Malaysian mahogany. They were stained, what we call chapo stain. And we added a clear coat, top coat finish to that to give it a little bit of a luster as well. Elevation D is more single bottle storage. All of the individual openings are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So it's going to accommodate just about every 750 milliliter bottle that's in the marketplace. And we've also added not only from character and personality to the wine room, but a display row that will help you manage the wines as well. Because as you might imagine, you can store like wines above and below the display area. Elevation E is a horizontal display or label forward, as I like to call it. This is a six inch deep wine rack. And we utilize this because if you'll remember from the floor plan, we had a little bit of a, a dog leg here in the wine room. And this really helped out with the continuity and the flow of the wine racks in that area. This is a custom table, tasting table that we created. It's placed in the center of the wine room. On one side of it is single bottle storage, as you can see here. And on one side is case or wooden case storage. And on the end, we did a beautiful label forward or horizontal display. So here's some 3D views of the finished product. It really turned out well. It's a beautiful wine cellar. Here's some pictures. Uh, as I mentioned, there was a tasting area. So this is a, vi a view looking into the refrigerated area through this glass door and side light area. A little more close up. This tabletop is very unique and extremely beautiful. It's called a ribbon grain sapeel mahogany. Here you can see the custom louvered grill cover that conceals the evaporator or the mechanical aspects of the cooling unit. It's another picture kind of looking off to the left side of the area where we had the little dog leg that I mentioned and uh, the label forward or horizontal display racks. And again, a beautiful view of the custom tasting table. Thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers.